हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी से ठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कोप डगलस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इज गिवन बाय इकोनमिस्ट पोल डगलस एंड मैथमेटिशियन चार्लिस कोप एंड दिस प्रोडक्शन मेनली डिस्क्राइब रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन क्वान्टिटी ऑफ आउटपुट एंड टू फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन लेबर एंड कैपिटल एंड दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इज बेस्ड ऑन सम अजम्पन टू फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन लेबर एंड कैपिटल कॉन्स्टेंट रिटर्न टू स्केल कॉन्स्टेंट रिटर्न टू स्केल मीन्स चेंज इन आउटपुट विल सेम एज वी चेंज इन इनपुट टेक्नोलॉजी इज कॉन्स्टेंट देर इज कॉन्स्टेंट शेयर ऑफ लेबर एंड कैपिटल एंड इट इज रिलेटेड टू पर्टिकुलर टाइम ऑफ पीरियड मीन्स वी कैन अप्लाई दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इन स्पेसिफिक टाइम पीरियड ओनली नाउ विल सी इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन क्यू इक्वल टू ए L to the power alpha and K to the power beta. Here Q is output, L is labor, K is capital, and alpha mainly represent output elasticity of labor. Means alpha represent how much output change when we will change labor, and beta means output elasticity of capital. Means beta mainly tell us. how much our output change when we will change capital and a is a old factor productivity or we can say the a is total factor productivity which depend on technology and here we assume our a is constant and this production function mainly tell us technical relation between amount of output and amount of two factor of production labor and capital most important property of cope douglas production function is This production function is a linear homogeneous production function. What do you mean by linear homogeneous production function? That means Cope Douglas production function is based on constant return to scale. As we know there are three return to scale constant increasing and decreasing. Decreasing return to scale means increase in output less as compared to increase in input. For example percentage change in input is 100% but percentage change in output is only 80% that means percentage change in output is less as compared to percentage change in input this will be called decreasing return to scale on the other hand increasing return to scale means increase in output more as compared to increase in input for example percentage change in input is 100% but percentage change in output is 120% here you can see percentage change in output is more as compared to percentage change in input so it will be called increasing return to scale and constant return to scale means change in output is same as you change in input for example uh, you increase your input 100% and your output also increase 100% for example you double your labor and capital as a result your output will also double it will be called constant return to scale and cope douglas production function is linear homogeneous production function that means cope douglas production function is based on constant return to scale constant return to scale means change in output is same as you change in input so cope douglas production function is linear homogeneous production function that means this production function is based on constant return to scale but how can we know we are receiving constant return to scale with the value of alpha and beta we can know we are getting constant return to scale as we earlier discussed alpha is output elasticity of labor and alpha mainly tell us how much output change when we change labor and beta is output elasticity of capital and beta mainly tell us how much our output change when we change capital with the value of alpha and beta we can know we are receiving constant return to scale if alpha plus beta is equal to 1 that means we are getting constant return to scale suppose alpha is equal to 3 over 4 and beta is equal to 1 over 4 when we add this value it will become equal to 1 that means the change in output is same as we change input so we are getting constant return to scale when alpha plus beta is equal to 1 that means we are receiving constant return to scale but if alpha plus beta is more than 1 that means we are receiving increasing return to scale if alpha plus beta is less than 1 that means we are receiving decreasing return to scale if alpha plus beta is equal to 1 that means with this equation we can calculate value of beta alpha will come in this side then our beta will become equal to 1 minus alpha 
so we can say that our beta is equal to 1 minus alpha so in this equation in place of beta we can write 1 minus alpha now our equation will become like this a l to the power alpha and k to the power 1 minus alpha and this equation mainly shows cope douglas production function because cope douglas production function is linear homogeneous production function and linear homogeneous production function means we are receiving constant return to scale and we are receiving constant return to scale when alpha plus beta is equal to 1 and this equation mainly shows cope douglas production function some book you will see this equation of cope douglas production function and some book you will see this equation of cope douglas production function but this equation is more relevant as compared to this now we will calculate average product of labor under linear homogeneous production function as we earlier discussed our cope douglas production function is linear homogeneous production function and this equation represent linear homogeneous production function now with the help of this equation we will calculate average product of labor average product of labor means output per labor and this is formula of calculating average product of labor q over l here q is the total output l is number of labor and value of q is this now in this equation we will put a value of q after putting value of q our equation will become like this this l don't have any power that's why power of this l is equal to 1 now l to the power alpha we will bring below this l to the power alpha we will bring below now our equation will become like this after bringing this l to the power alpha below our equation will become like this and we will take 1 minus alpha common and this is our final equation which represent our average product a into k over l to the power 1 minus alpha that means our average product depend on ratio of capital and labor it don't depend on absolute quantities of factor of production which we use now with the help of this equation we will calculate a marginal product of labor and marginal product of labor mainly tell us how much output change when we change our labor in order to calculate marginal product of labor we will differentiate this equation with the respect to l a is constant variable we cannot differentiate constant variable that's why a will remain as a t we are only differentiating with respect to labor that's why k to the power 1 minus alpha will also remain as a t after differentiating this equation with respect to l our equation will become like this a alpha l to the power uh, alpha minus 1 k to the power 1 minus alpha what do you mean by l to the power alpha minus 1 that means l to the power alpha minus 1 is equal to l to the power alpha and l to the power minus 1 means in this power consist l to the power alpha and l to the power minus 1 if we bring this l to the power minus 1 below now our equation will become like this a alpha l to the power alpha k to the power 1 minus alpha over l to the power 1 now we will minus this upper l and below l with alpha now we will minus this upper l and below l with alpha in order to simplify this equation now after doing this our equation will become like this a alpha l to the power alpha minus alpha k to the power 1 minus alpha over l to the power 1 minus alpha this alpha and alpha will cancel with each other so this l will be vanished and we will bring common this 1 minus alpha we will bring common and our final equation will become like this and this is equal to marginal product of labor uh, here you can see a alpha into k over l to the power 1 minus alpha and this equation mainly tell us our marginal product depend on ratio of capital and labor now we'll see criticism this production function is based on constant return to scale but in reality we have increasing and diminishing return to scale also and the second thing producer aim is not getting constant return to scale 
producer aim is getting increasing return to scale obviously producer want to get more output as compared to input and ignore other factor of production according to this production function we have only two factor of production labor and capital and ignore other factor of production assume uh, this uh, production function assume technology is constant but in reality technology is changing technology is not constant not applicable in agriculture sector and this production function not develop uh, any knowledge based on engineering technology and management so this is all about cope douglas production function i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care